What is up everybody? So in this video, I decided to bring you guys another emblem tutorial because the first video, it seemed a lot a few people seemed to really like it, so I decided to do another one for you guys. So this one, the one we're going to be taking a look at for this video is we're going to be doing the so much wind smiley. Like you know that meme like when there's like a ridiculous post and then people are just like, "Oh, so much wind," you know. It's kind of like that. But anyway, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So here is our in, our point of reference. So as you can see, this one is not too difficult. I mean, probably the hardest part for me when I did this before was the tears. The tears and his tongue. Because his tongue, I had to figure out how to like actually cut it out properly. And make sure it's behind stuff, you know. But uh, anyway, so I guess we're going to try this out right now. So now for this one, the text is optional, although for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be doing that because I don't feel it's necessary, but the text is optional if you want to do that yourself, if, if you decide to make this. But anyway, so to start out, once again, we're going to be doing the background. You know, it's easy. We just take a square uh, right here. Don't even need to do anything to it. Just blow it up. Boom. We have our background now. Simple. Okay. So now the second part. We'll do. We'll just do the outer part of him, which is a black circle. So we grab a circle there. Gotta change it to black so that way we can see it. There we go. All right. I guess. Should I blow this up some more, like, to there or something? Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, we don't need to make this one, like, extremely big. I think this only needs to be, like, here. Alright, very good. So, that's done. Now, we're going to copy and paste that. So, copy-paste. This one is going to be yellow, actually. Um, Maybe that, roughly? See that or that? It's more like a lighter yellow, so maybe that one. Yeah, we'll roll with that one. So we select that one. Oh, okay. Then we shrink it down to where we can see the outline. About right there, let's say. Yeah, okay. So now we have that. Now the next part we could do... I guess we'll do his eyes next. Because those won't be too bad. Okay, so shapes. We need something that has like an arch type thing. Wait, I think what I was using before was the half circles. I just have to shrink them down. So those will be black. Whoops, I keep forgetting. You have to actually select it first. Okay, so these are going to be black. That's straight-ish. I guess for the most part, it's straight. So now I can shrink it down to here. And then free scale, we got to make sure it's like that. Yeah, something like that, actually. Yeah. There we go. And then we can just, like, make it bigger, smaller or bigger. Okay, so this one is kind of thinner than the other one. So maybe we can... uh Make it like that? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Probably about right there, maybe. Yeah, I think we'll roll with that. So we have that there. So we have the outline of his first eye now. We copy-paste, and then we change this to white. There we go. And then we just shrink that down to be the inner part of his eye probably about right there yeah hmm let me see I think right there yeah that looks pretty good I like that okay now if we actually link these can we copy them like that nope it only copies it one at a time okay never mind then Whatever. 
It's not a big deal. Okay, so next part we're going to need another circle, and this one's going to be black. Ugh, keep forgetting. All right. So this one is going to be shrunken down to here. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than that. About right there. Um, I think about right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so like that. Okay. Now we got to copy and paste all this stuff. And then we can just move this over. Yeah, a lot of this comes down to you got to kind of eyeball it. So see, this one's supposed to be a little bit wider, but not too wide like that. Like, you don't want it that wide. Uh, probably about right there, maybe. And then we can just shrink it down, I think. This has a pretty big gap in it. Hmm. I think that probably it just looks so weird like that because I mean it looks fine on the picture but when you're doing it in here it just looks weird to me but whatever we're going to roll with that for right now and then we'll come back to the finished product and see what it looks like okay so then we shrink this one down as well Probably about right there. Yeah. And then now we'll go copy this circle and then paste that. And then we can just move it over, I suppose. Because those are about the, roughly the same size, I think. I think about right there. Yeah, okay. So we'll roll with that. All right, now the next part I think we're going to move on to is a smile now. Because I'm going to save the tears for last because that one's kind of weird. Because there's a few things to do that I do there. All right, so we're just going to move to his mouth. So I think also that one is a half circle. Yeah, this. It, it, it makes sense because I think that's probably the better one to use for this. All right, so this one's going to be black. So we rotate it. I say about right there. So this is going to be right here. Yeah, it looks that looks fine. Yeah, about right there. Okay, so now we got that there. And we're going to copy paste this. And then this is actually a purplish color. Maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, that. Okay. So we got that now. Then this we shrink down to here. Let me see if I can stretch it out a bit without actually ruining it. I don't think the outline is that big. So let me see. Yeah, that's the thing about these things. It's just a lot of little subtle tweaks and stuff. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. All right, so we got the first part of his mouth. The next part, this is probably another one that's tricky too, is his tongue. Because we need to... It needs to be above this layer, but it needs to be below the other layers. So this is kind of a this is kind of tricky to do, but we're gonna attempt it right now. So let's see. That's probably just a circle. 
All right, so we need a circle there. All right, this is actually a pinkish color as well. It's more like a light pink. That maybe, maybe lighter than that. Yeah, that that looks that looks about right. Okay, so we got that. So now we need to shrink this down. It's gonna be sitting here roughly. Although I think we'll actually widen this out a little bit. Kind of make like an oval kind of thing. Okay. So we kind of have where we want it to sit. Now we need to figure out how to mask everything else out. So that is the tricky part. I don't remember how I did it. Yeah, see, you want it behind that. But at the same time, you want it to be above that. Yeah, because if you move all these layers, then it's not going to look right. Let's see. I might have to shrink this down some more for convenience. Or maybe, let me actually try something. Would a half circle work for that? I'm thinking that might be a better option. Or maybe something that's already rounded. Let's see that maybe, but just have to fill it in with some stuff. Yeah, I think in the half circle might be the best option for this one as well. All right, so we're gonna rotate that to there, and we're gonna widen this out some more. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So about right there, I'd say. Okay, now, what we need to do is just need to cover that up, I think. Okay, let me try uh, an arch. Like, try one of those quarter arches and see if that helps. Okay, so this is gonna be black. Okay. Hmm, that look that actually looks really weird. I don't know, maybe. So you want it to be behind that. Yeah, you see this is very obnoxious because trying to layer stuff it does doesn't look right. Okay, maybe not that emblem then. Hmm. No. Oh, that's the only one I can think of, honestly. I mean, if I shrink it down, maybe. Well, probably about right there, yeah. Well, I, I think I need to actually, like, stretch this out. Hmm, okay, let me let me try copying and putting another one there and then moving that over. Well, I could flip it too. Oh, there we go. Huh. 
Huh, maybe. So I think we have a general idea. It's just executing is the hard part. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. Now we just need to cover up all that the the excess black. So let me see what we could do there. You know what? Let me actually copy the tongue area. And then we'll paste that onto there. And then we'll shrink it down a bit. Maybe if I flip this over, it might actually look better. Somewhat, actually. Still is kind of weird, though, but... I don't know, that's probably good enough, because, I mean, the finished product, I, unless you're OCD about making it perfect... I don't think many people are going to care, so for the most part, that looks fine to me. All right, now the last part we need to do, and that's his tears. Now, this was a weird one because there's a lot of different textures going on. Pretty much what I had to do is I had to just pretty much stick a bunch of random shapes in there. Okay, so first off, let me... Uh let me get this. I actually had to use this before. Uh, let's see, it's a light blue. About there, maybe? Or is it lighter? Huh? Think about there. Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, so this is going to go right there. Yeah. Yep, right there. Alright, so we got the first part done. See, so yeah, I pretty much I just had to stick a bunch of random shapes in it to kind of resemble like tears. So I think what we'll do is I'll use I'll use this and then shrink it down. There we go, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I'll just probably duplicate this a bunch of times. That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. For the most part. Yeah, I think I'll just copy and paste this a bunch of times. You can also like position them closer to each other so that way it doesn't look like it's just a bunch of lumps. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad. There we go. Alright. Alright, so I think that's kind of how you have to do it. Because, I mean, you're not going to get, like, every shape possible in that. Because, you know, it's like I've said before. It's not going to be perfect, but to start. Alright, so we got that there. Oh, it's a good thing we did it like this too, because we're about to run out of layers, which I didn't—I didn't think we'd actually run out of layers in this. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. There we go. All 
All right, last one. Okay, I think we are done. So it's supposed to look something like that. So I guess we can we can back out. And we can just save it. You can apply it to your player card if you want. And that's what the finished product looks like. So yeah, it's not a, ho a heavily complicated emblem, but it is confusing to try to put the shapes together. Because I know, like I said... As you can tell, the tears are what gave me the most trouble. But I think I found an easier way to simplify it and just use those half circles and stuff. And it doesn't look completely awful, I will admit. But um, anyway. So I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you learned something from this. You definitely feel free to try it out for yourselves. And uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see more of these, I'm open to doing a few more. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Rate what you feel this video deserves. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me if you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in my next video. All right, peace out, guys.